Folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and today I'm sure the title already gave it away. We are working with Python VS Code Virtual Environments, but we're doing this in Linux today. I'll show you in the past how to do it in Windows. I'm sorry about my audio today, but uh, we're going to see if we can get through this. I am on location today, so we'll see if we can actually get this uh, video created. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a terminal window and we're going to blow this terminal window up a little bit for you so we can see what's going on. I just like to do that so everybody can uh, see the commands here. So the first thing we're going to do is do an ls to see what your current directory structure is. And as you can see here we are in my home directory. So the first thing I like to do is just like on Windows is we're going to make a dir m-a-k-d-i-r and call it programming. Okay, now if we do an ls, we will in fact see that programming directory in there. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to build a virtual environment inside of that programming folder. All right, so what we have to do here is we are simply going to take change directory, cd, programming. If you do an ls, you'll see that there's nothing in the programming directory. Now to create a virtual environment, it's really pretty simplistic and it's pretty much the same as it is on Windows, but you're just doing it in a different operating system. So we're going to type Python space dash M space virtual environment or V E N V space and then whatever container we're putting this virtual environment in. So we're going to be creating a folder to hold our virtual environment. All right? And it's also going to name that virtual environment the same as what the folder name is. So we'll name this testing. And remember it's Python 3 dash M V E N V testing. Okay? Now at that point, if we do an ls, we're going to see that there is in fact a folder called testing. All right, so we'll change directory into testing, enter, do an ls, and you'll see all the files in there now. So there's a bin, include, lib, lib64, uh, there's our config file, the pi virtual environment.config, and the share file. All right. So at this point, you could either activate your virtual environment here, or we're going to activate it within VS Code. So to launch VS Code from the command prompt here. We're in, we're in the folder testing, so be in the folder that you created. Type code space period, enter. You're going to see where it's going to launch our virtual environment. Here it is over on the left. You can see where it says testing. Here's that bin folder. Here's our activations. If you watched my Windows tutorial, you'll see that it was in Windows. So the only thing different is when we're activating it inside of Python or activating it on a Linux machine, you click the terminal, new terminal. Here is our new terminal window. I don't know if I can blow this up or not. Um, yeah, it blew it up a little bit there for us. Okay. All right. And what you're going to type in here is we're going to type, uh, we'll do ls again to see what we have in there. Do a change directory space bin enter. And inside of bin, you can see on the left here the files inside of bin, so we don't have to see those. What you have to type on a Linux machine to activate this is source, S E R C E, period, slash, make sure it's a period period slash activate and hit enter and now you can see that you just activated your virtual environment there it is when your command prompt changes to the name of the virtual environment the virtual environment is now active and now you can program within that virtual environment and everything you program is going to get built into the uh, total of the file structure here, everything's going to be put together. You can see your um, your config file here. You know, a lot of times people even put in here their pip versions. 
A lot of people will add the PIP version in here, and you can do that also. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you out. I know uh, when I started doing virtual environments and programming with Python and teaching it, it, uh, it does take a lot to kind of get used to and uh, get ready to get your uh, environment set up to program. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, as always, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. You'll be seeing some more programming videos coming uh, your way very, very soon. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.